Hello Libra, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. So let's see what's going on for you guys for mid-June. I am open for personal readings again, so you can send your request until the 20th. The information is down in the description box. So we will do the shortcut version of the reading and go into depth with the extended one on Vimeo together with the he said, she said spread. You guys know the drill, so let's just get started and see what's going on. You guys are doing great on the like, so keep it up as well. So let's see what are the messages for Libra, please. <clears throat> what are the messages for Libra? Wow. Okay, I have the Sun card here. I got the Six of Wands, the Two of Wands, both in the reverse, and the Lovers card. So some of you may have broken free from uh, from an individual in the past, and it was because it was not fulfilling you. It, you were not gaining any victory or success. You felt like you were um, not being appreciated for the work that you have put in. And I'm getting that you guys are deciding to break free completely from this individual. You have, you know, you have your own freedom. The sun does represent also freedom as well, liberty. So you are, you know, you've, you've grown within your soul. You've grown without this person. You have outgrown them is what I'm uh, feeling. For others of you, there is a Gemini that, that is very prominent in your life. Um, that you have to make a decision about. If not a Gemini, it could be a Le um, a Leo individual. But you know, you are comparing the last couple of years and what you have gained from them, or the fact that you are not succeeding in your soul's growth when you are with that person. And I'm having the sense that you feel uh, enlightened. You feel more vitality without them. So. If there was a decision from another person, uh, it could be a fire sign, that person may may not want to make any decision. So I feel that at this present moment, you you are deciding to whether you want to continue with this connection or not. You don't want to um, because I'm having the sense that you don't feel successful pursuing this individual. You don't feel successful in getting your appreciation from this individual. Um, this could have also been in the recent past uh, when it comes to work or career. There are things that you feel that there are too many bl block roads on the road. Like you can't seem to overcome them. Um, so your confidence level could have increased a bit and you really needed some more confident boost and, and a more confidence boost. And I feel that you've got that. I feel that you've got that confidence boost and that's why you... You know, you you wanted to make a head and heart decision at this moment whether you want you ever want to be with that individual or not. So that's very very strongly here. You guys are really trying to make a decision whether you want to continue to be definitely with a Gemini. And you've got the Hermit card in the heart of your reading. You've got the Page of Swords. Hmm. Someone is closed off from you. Either you are closed off from someone or someone is just very closed off. And therefore you you now want to make that decision. This person is somehow not available to you like on, on any level. And you may have felt some kind of depression in the past. And it feels to me that it goes up and down. So somehow you got uplifted in your energy, but then you fall back into depression or feeling um, feeling sad about a situation and not wanting to deal with anyone, not wanting to deal with this individual. And this could also be vice versa. This person is very, very much at a distance from you. They're not wanting to appreciate or look at this connection in the right way and it's that's what's hurting you that's what's bringing your energy down in this moment you could have also be dealing with a virgo but uh someone is definitely isolating so this could be you or as i said this could be someone that you are dealing with and it just hurts you in your heart that this person does just 
is so distant from you. So the distance, I feel, is a very big... Um, it's a very big obstacle and you don't feel that as long as this person keeps themselves away from you and not wanting to deal with the situation, you're not feeling any victory over the situation and there is no, you know, there's no spiritual growth within you. There is no growth. You don't feel successful in choosing this direction or choosing this individual. Even though the connection is very deep, the connection is there. There's a really uh, deep connection but you also feel that if that person is such in the distance and they don't want to communicate, they isolate themselves, there is a decision that you need to make because being at a crossroads and not having to, or not making that decision did not lead you to get any fulfillment either. So there is some kind of um, information uh, that is going to come true to you that could be a bit cutting, that could be a bit hurtful. Someone could be very childish in the way they communicate or they are withholding communication from you. They could be spying on you. You could be spying on them. This could be vice versa, trying to check up on each other in order to try to get information about what this person is going through. Or um, you could even hear information about the fact that this person has been very depressed. But someone is definitely spying here. Someone is trying to gather information in order to make that decision so i'm having the sense that that's you libra you're really trying to make a decision wow look at that we have the two of cups in the reverse and the seven of cups upright so this is after this information comes in you're still gonna be a bit in the clouds in your, with your head you're still um you're gonna be a bit confused about the decision it's like you almost want to decide decide something and then some information comes in and it puts you back on ground zero here with the seven of cups where you really are still up in your mind and not know how to how to react on this in information you you may have a lot of illusions about whatever it is that you are going to find so this is this is this could be some kind of gossip that you're about to hear it's something that um that you can't seem to confirm right away which puts you on on this state of okay i don't know what to do i need to make a decision but i don't know what to do like you're gonna be a bit um blurred in your vision at the at this moment or after after you receive this information but the, this union is still like both of you are just not expressing your feelings to one another and not telling each other how you truly feel so you feel that there is a lack of connection there's a lack of harmony here there you could be dropping a soulmate relationship as well because it is a very strong soulmate relationship but there is something missing and what it's missing is that someone is just not wanting to look at this situation and try to come with a solution the hermit is someone that seeks for solutions and they they try to um you know find ways to resolve an issue and if that issue is in the reverse that means that someone is just not putting in energy to resolve an issue they're not looking at the situation properly they're not shedding a light on it they are not contemplating about how to bring back the harmony that once was so that's what i feel with this two of cups in the reverse i also had already the feeling a lot of signs are also having this kind of energy where um you know if it's not working out and even if this is a you know a very strong connection or a soulmate connection if it's not working out you guys are really dropping it you you guys are really dropping it because it yeah there is no growth here there's see the king of swords again so this could be definitely your energy or this could be a the energy of the other person that wants to come true maybe they do have something to say but if you ask me this is your energy where you know you're gonna you really want gonna make a decision and uh, based on your logic based on your discernment and you're really gonna take action to it and there's no way that someone can uh, bend that decision over for you so you have i feel that you have been thinking about it for a long time and you have been stuck on it and waiting for a turnaround waiting for things to change but it's just not changing and that's because 
this person is also this like closing themselves off from you and they're not they're not putting in any um anything to make this turn around for the better so they may communicate something that is very you know this is not a nice information that you will receive this is something that um that could be a bit hurtful but it is very childish and it's like you don't know if it's really true or not or they, it, it, it has it, it contains some kind of truth but it's not like the full truth so I feel that if you are dealing with someone that has been uh, acting like the page of source and this could be vice versa someone is going to be the you know the boss in communicating the truth and someone is just going to be a child for some of you you could be uh, having some arguments with your children as well because this is this is a this is a king dealing with a child so for others of you there could be a you could be waiting for a sum of money that's that's just dependent that's just pending it's not coming through yet so there is a lack of um growth and a lack of abundance so you could feel that in your finances as well. So something is just not wanting to get off the ground. Something does, is just still pending. There is still no uh, outcome from, from, from the finance department. So there is some kind of lack of uh, abundance that you will feel uh, going into June. So try to keep your finances Try not to spend too much because if you're waiting for a sum of money, it may still be delayed um, and you may be hearing that kind of information from someone else or from gossips or from um, from the people at the work front or something. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. You may be also trying to seek out for new possibilities if this is not working for you and you're not getting paid or um you know you can't seem to find your stability when it comes to finances or receive this abundance that you have been working towards because that's maybe the six of wands in the reverse you will choose to look for, for other options and it is very advisable for you to look around to see what else is um there on the market for you because it may it may still be um pending you know going into july so this was your shortcut reading uh libra so i'm gonna continue this reading the link is down in the description box and also for the personal readings you can contact me and i see you guys later ciao